Thank you very much. To uh, Ms. McPherson. Thank Go you, ahead. Mr. Speaker. Um, I will be sharing my time with the member for New Westminster Burnaby as well. So today we heard from the Prime Minister again. Um, we, there's been questions asking the Prime Minister when he will uh, make good on his promises to Canadians, and Canadians have once again been told that it is, it is their lot to wait. Millions of people impacted by COVID-19 have been forgotten by this government, and people with disabilities are now facing new challenges and increased costs just to survive. It's been 12 weeks since this pandemic began, five weeks since this House unanimously passed our motion to act, quote, without delay. Mr. Chair, why is this government still making people with disabilities wait for the help they so desperately need? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for her question. Um, from the beginning, people with disabilities have absolutely been at the heart of our decisions, and we've put a disability inclusion lens on our government uh, measures in response to COVID-19. That's in great part due to the passing of our Historic Accessible Canada Act, and I will uh, take this opportunity to wish everyone a happy, happy National Accessibility Week. And as both the Prime Minister and I have said, I can assure every Canadian that before this week is done, we will have news that they will take very positive. Take care. And back to Ms. McPherson. Mr. Chair, last week and just now, the minister said, or just now, the minister said, I quote, there are three, we are three days from National Accessibility Week, and I would expect something from our government during that week. Has the government been holding back supports for people living with disabilities so they could time an announcement to make a splash? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, absolutely not. In fact, we've been working very hard with our disability advisory group uh, to ensure that what we do announce and the support we do provide for Canadians with disabilities is exactly what is needed and target at the pe targeted at the people who need it most. I'll remind everyone that we put in force uh, an extra $750 per month for students with disabilities, um, that Canadians with disabilities have access to the CERB, that we are um, investing in a number of ways, of course, for the GST um, increase that disproportionately benefit. I'm just for a very short question, uh, Ms. McPherson, around 10 seconds. Mr. Chair, people living with disabilities are not publicity tools. If the minister denies that that is what they are doing, then what is the excuse for their long delay on their promise? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I take great offence uh, as someone with a disability that we would do that. We certainly haven't. We are working very hard to provide for everyone, including people with disabilities. Um, I regret that, of course, it's taken as long as it has, but Mr. Speaker, we are not leaving anybody behind.